Good evening. We have some breaking news to report tonight. There has been a report of a multiple car crash on Claremont Avenue in Eau Claire. We just got off the phone with police. They say emergency crews are on the way. Now, one of the vehicles may be leaking gas or some other liquid. Police are urging everyone to stay away from the area until further notice. And we have sent the crew to the scene and we'll bring you more information as soon as we get it. BMC, this is Ann, Charge RN. We're on the scene of a two-car crash, a van and a car. We have uh, four patients that are going to be coming your way. Okay. Three are red. One is a green to a yellow, and also there is one black on scene. And we'll give you some additional information here shortly. Okay, thanks much. You bet. Bye-bye. I'm going to page um, the ER physician, and I'm going to page nursing supervisor, um, and I'll let you guys know our patients get here kind of where I want you to be okay let's just make sure you guys were stocked we got supplies ready to go um, and they're gonna call back okay I'm gonna uh, page nursing um, supervisor so we have extra help am I the only doc here or is anybody else in house um actually we do have one um, doc in house as well just on call you want me to page him yeah let him yep. know what's coming in because I'm probably gonna need help okay sounds good I will page them Paging nursing supervisor and on-call ER physician to ER. Paging on-call nursing supervisor and on-call ER physician to the ER. Still in I got a pulse, I got an airline. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Good evening. We now have more information to bring you on the crash that happened earlier on Claremont. There has been a multiple car crash. Several people were involved. Emergency crews tell us the victims were immediately aided. We're told there was one fatality. Now that name is still being withheld. Any danger of leaking gas is over. One emergency responder on the scene said it was almost miraculous that only one life was lost. Well, more on this story again in our 6 o'clock newscast. We'll now send it back to regular programming. That's pretty realistic. It felt like a live person. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was really good. Um, it was something I had never experienced before, so it kind of gave me a feel of what may happen. I know everything's going to be different when it does happen, but it, re it really makes you realize how fast everything happens. Without these kind of scenarios, I don't know that, that you're really... Um, able to go into the nursing field. The interactions are very real. I mean, it's just like talking to a physician in an emergency department. You have to figure out what's going on, catch up, and then get all the information and data quickly and then kind of organize it in some kind of weird way. It was good to have that feeling of that sense of urgency, you know, um, because sometimes you don't have that. And so this was a good time to experience the emotions that come out when you're dealing in a urgent emergency situation like that and how do you react when it gets stressful? Your heart does start pumping in that. <laughs> <laughs> I think for uh, also for for the staff in a hospital setting to understand what we deal with in a pre-hospital setting is invaluable to yes. us because there's so much that we do out there in the field that they don't understand and see, ever see. But I, I mean as soon as you see two providers go down with seizures automatically it's got to be a toxic inhalation. That added another level of anxiety because we weren't expecting them to go down. Mm -hmm. We were expecting to have their help. Their, their help. help. <laughs> yes. Um, well, and then Dr. Massey said we need protection or we're all going to be. And then I'm thinking, oh my gosh, <coughs> how do I get everybody protected mm -hmm. in this situation? 
I like the experience. It's, it's nice to be able to go back and reevaluate what you did, what you could have done better, what maybe you shouldn't have done at all, and, and you know that you can walk away knowing that they, they weren't real people. You could tell the charge, what was going mm -hmm. on. There was very clear directions. You do here, you do this, I need this. And that made direction go mm -hmm. smoothly. And it's way different than reading it in a book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Way different. different.